problem behind Christianity, uh, really, is that they not only claim the stories to be true, but that they claim the stories to be perfect. Uh, and when science discovers that those ancient myths are wrong, uh, what Christian religion often does is dig their heels in and say, no, 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 our book is perfect. Uh, and, you know, we all know that there are lots of different variations. Um, but when they start saying that they're perfect, when they start saying that science is wrong, They've taken a step further. They've actually gone from spreading a lie to spreading ignorance. They've actually got people convinced that evolution didn't happen. We know it did. It's absolutely proven. 100% proven, Cy, by the way. But you could be With wrong about that. <laughs> yes, we can, we, can, we can be sure about that. No, you said you could be uh, wrong about everything, so you could be wrong about that, correct? Sorry, I was, inter I was speaking when you were interrupting. Yeah, I realize that, but we're allowed to interact, so continue. Uh, yes. Uh, so um, it, it, it's beyond just spreading lies. It's not. It, it's beyond just spreading the lie that God exists, that there's a man in the sky. But now the Christian church specifically has said, no, 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 that which we know, that which we have learned to be true, that which we have proven true is wrong. What really happened is that Noah sailed down to Antarctica to put the penguins back. And, uh, you know, it, it's just uh, a step beyond what you were saying, uh, Dr. Jones. Um, it, it's beyond the, the, the grotesque stories as morality and claiming it to be good. And it's, it's into the realm of, of interfering with the progress of the, of the American people. And that's can I, wrong. Can I explain the, the issue with this? Yes. Is that when you bring up biblical stories like that, you're assuming a standard of morality which is above or outside of the Bible. And I'm saying outside of Scripture, you don't have a standard of morality by which you can judge those things. Now, these are great questions for a Bible study, but I don't do Bible studies with atheists. I do Bible studies with Christians who go on the authority of God's Word. And why, why would you not do a Bible study with an atheist? <laughs> because we're talking about the Word of God here. Yeah, but somebody why, who's given up but, knowledge... Or why or, would you not do a Bible study with an I will proclaim atheist. the truth of Scripture to an atheist, but when somebody says, I could be wrong about everything I, I claim to know, I'm not going to study the Bible with them because they could be wrong about that. And it's uh, Do you think that Jesus ignored the atheist? Oh, I don't, think he, I don't think he ignored do, do you them think at all. That he, he preached ate, the gospel to them. But did he eat with the sinners and drink with the sinners, right, well, we're here. wash their feet, bow before them. Right. But let, let's get back to the topic at hand, these things that you call immoral. And when people say these things were immoral of God, you know, that's exactly what happened in the Garden of Eden, that, that God said to Adam and Eve, do not eat of this fruit. Satan came along and said, hath God really said that? And what did Adam and Eve do? Adam, what did Adam and Eve do? They said, well, God said this, Satan said this, I'm going to decide. And that's exactly what people are doing today but, when, but, when they judge God in Scripture. Now, the thing is, we're not immoral, wicked people. We see these things and we conclude a loving God. And I say, if you don't like those things that happen in Scripture, if you're an unbeliever and you die and you're sinned, stick around. But, but the point is, you're, you're introducing... So your response is a threat? Your response to death no, is a threat? No, it's a warning. Thing is a threat? It's no, a warning. Come on. Tell me how we're supposed to learn morality, Cy, from an immoral book. You know morality. What is your standard by which you call anything immoral? I know bears ripping apart children is immoral, and I'm willing to go way out on a limb and say it's bad. Based, Amen. based Amen. on what standard? Based on what standard, Mr. Based Silverman? Based on my standard. And you could be wrong about that. No, I can't. Well, thanks for contradicting yourself yet again. Yep, that's me. Sai, I have a question for you. Go ahead. I, I, since it, oh, wait a minute. You've given up knowledge. Sorry. <laughs> We're done it, with it, you. Well, I'm asking you the question, though, um, so my knowledge isn't important. I, I'm really getting um, it. It's only done. you. You are you the source next. of absolute <laughs> knowledge here, according to your worldview, or, or you have access to it. And I'd like to know how you know that. How do I know that? God makes yes. me know. God, oh, God makes me know that God exists? And the God thing is, do you, know, do you know how I can know things for certain? And I'll explain this to you, and it's going to be, you know, maybe a, a quite a big revelation to you. How I know things for certain? The same way you do, because we all know this God that exists. And you have to have all knowledge or revelation from a God who has all knowledge to know anything. Or you could be wrong about everything you claim to know, and you've given up knowledge. How do you know knowledge. that? And that's, what hap that's what's happened tonight. You got to know, know.